call the Rules Committee to order. Good morning and welcome to the Committee on Rules, Privileges, and Elections. My name is Karen Koslowitz and I am the Chair of the Rules Committee. Before we begin, I would like to introduce the members of this committee who are present. Speaker Corey Johnson. Council Member Espinal, Council Member Carnegie, Council Member Chin, Council Member Adams, Council Member Matteo. Uh, before we start, I'd like to call on the speaker to say a few words. Uh, thank you, uh, Madam Chair. I'm really pleased that we're here today uh, to uh, consider the uh, re-nomination and re-upping of our fantastic uh, city clerk, Michael McSweeney. I think he has done an incredible job during his time uh, as the city clerk. I know that every single member of this body has interacted with him, not just related to when they were sworn in, uh, but whenever anyone has needed something from the city clerk's office, helping a constituent and ensuring that uh, folks were being taken care of appropriately, uh, the city clerk and his staff have been unbelievably responsive. We, of course, see him at our stated meetings and the work that he does up here as per the ch city charter, but the work that he does day in and day out uh, that is mandated by the city charter for the city clerk's office is extremely important work, and he has done it with professionalism. He has done it with uh, total integrity, uh, and uh, he is one of the uh, most ethical great guys that I know, so I am very, very pleased that we are uh, going to be voting on this nomination today, and I would ask my colleagues to please uh, vote in favor of his renomination so that he can continue to serve as city clerk for the city of New York. I look forward to casting my vote in favor of that. Thank you very much, Madam Chair. Thank you. I'd also like to uh, recognize our committee uh, counsel, Elizabeth Guzman, and I would also like to acknowledge the staff members from the Council's Investigative Unit, Chuck Davis, Director, and Andre Johnson-Brown. Today, the Rules Committee will consider the reappointment by the Council of Michael McSweeney as City Clerk and Clerk of the Council. Mr. McSweeney is, is a resident of Queens County. If reappointed, Mr. McSweeney will serve a six-year term beginning May 13, 2018 and expiring May 12, 2024. First, I will briefly describe the functions of the city clerk. The duties of the city clerk and the clerk of the council are set forth in Chapter 2, Section 48 of the city charter. Under Section 48, the council is mandated to appoint a clerk who shall serve for a term of six years, six years. The city clerk may be removed on charges by a two-thirds vote of the council. Such decision is subject to judicial review. The city clerk receives a salary of $221,754. One primary function, I can't see these clerks. One primary function of clerk to the city council is to attest to all laws passed by the council. The clerk also attests to all legislation passed by the council that requires concurrent action by our state legislature. The clerk of the council is also responsible for keeping the transcripts of council proceedings. It is the duty of the city clerk to attest to leases and deeds of city property, grant agreements, bonds, tax notes, and additional obligations of the city. The city clerk must keep and has charge of all the papers and documents of the city, including executive and administrative orders of the mayor. Certificates of judicial appointments by the mayor, oaths of office for city employees, city marshal, bonds, and referendum petitions. I'm not going to, you know, continue. I just want to say that I know Michael McSweeney 30 years and have always admired his integrity, 
and the way he handles himself. So with that, I call on a vote for the committee. Lee Martin, committee clerk, roll call vote committee on rules, privileges, and elections, preconsidered M. Chair Kozlowitz. I proudly vote aye. Chin. I proudly vote aye. Cornegie. I also proudly vote aye. Espinal. He's okay, but I vote aye. <laughs> Lanceman. I couldn't be a councilman without him. Aye. Adams. The Borough of Queens is proud to call him ours. I emphatically vote aye. Matteo. Yes. Speaker Johnson. I was remiss in not mentioning that in 2011, when marriage equality became law of the land, one of the people in the city of New York who stepped up, who uh, did not get uh, a lot of credit, but made sure that marriage licenses were processed immediately for couples, and who did it with great enthusiasm and affection and real tender love and care for folks that had spent decades wanting to get married in our great state and city was Michael McSweeney and his staff. Uh, it was really a beautiful woman. I was not in elective office, but I was down at the city clerk's office that day in June of 2011, and I saw him there uh, doing marriage after marriage after marriage with a big smile on his face. And so I very, very, very proudly vote aye today. By a vote of eight in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstention, item is adopted by the committee. We're going to hold the vote open for another 15 minutes. <laughs> 